Welcome, curious minds, to the tale of the cursed tomb of King Tutankhamun, a story that intertwines the allure of ancient Egypt with the modern world's fascination with curses and the supernatural. Our journey begins in the year of 1922, a momentous time, when the world held its breath as archaeologist Howard Carter unveiled a discovery of a lifetime in the Valley of the Kings. The nearly intact tomb of King Tutankhamun, the child pharaoh, had been found. Imagine a young ruler ascending to the throne at an early age and dying under circumstances shrouded in mystery, resting undisturbed for over 3,000 years. The tomb was a time capsule filled with incredible artifacts that were meant to accompany the young king into his journey in the afterlife. Among these was a golden death mask that has since become an icon of ancient Egypt. But as the world watched, a series of unfortunate events began to unfold. Leading to the birth of the myth of the pharaoh's curse was the sudden death of Lord Carnarvon, the financial backer of the excavation. Less than five months after the tomb's grand unveiling, Carnarvon met his untimely end, reportedly due to an infected mosquito bite that turned septic. This unexpected demise was just the beginning of a string of misfortunes that snaked its way around those who dared to enter the tomb. The world watched in bewilderment as death, like an uninvited guest, frequented those connected to the excavation. Rumours of a curse began to swirl, gaining momentum with every passing incident. The media, always eager for a sensational tale, fanned the flames of this growing legend. Stories spread like wildfire, tales of an inscription within the tomb, a dire warning promising death to those who disturbed the young pharaoh's eternal rest. Yet, this alleged inscription remains elusive, a figment of overactive imaginations perhaps, for no such dire warning has been discovered within the tomb's walls. Despite this, the concept of a curse, of an ancient threat reaching out from the sands of time to claim modern lives, held the public in its grip. Fear and fascination intertwined, creating a myth that has endured for over a century. While no such inscription has been found, the idea of a curse captured the public's imagination. The tale of the Pharaoh's curse was born, and with it a mystery that continues to captivate us to this day. E. Scientists and skeptics have offered more rational explanations for the deaths, including exposure to toxic molds or bacteria trapped within the tomb. When we venture into the realm of the logical, we find a host of potential causes for the series of unfortunate events that followed the tomb's opening. Some point to the potential dangers of ancient tombs, sealed chambers filled with millennia-old dust, molds and bacteria. The sudden exposure to our modern world and its inhabitants could indeed have lethal consequences. Others suggest a psychological element, a self-fulfilling prophecy of sorts, the fear and anxiety stirred by the talk of a curse could have had a detrimental effect on health, leading to stress-related conditions or even heart failure. Then we have the intriguing case of Howard Carter, the man who first peered into the young pharaoh's eternal resting place. Despite being the first to disturb the tomb, Carter lived for another 16 years, seemingly unaffected by the supposed curse. Was he immune or just lucky, or perhaps there was no curse at all? In the end, the truth of the matter may be a complex mix of natural and psychological causes, amplified by the sensationalism of the media and the human fascination with the unknown. But no matter how many logical explanations we find, the allure of the mysterious is hard to shake off. Despite these logical explanations, the legend of the curse persisted. The curse also overshadowed the significant contributions the discovery of King Tut's tomb made to our understanding of ancient Egyptian culture, art and burial practices. Yet, beyond the whispers of curses and the echoes of superstition, the tomb of King Tutankhamun held a treasure trove of knowledge waiting to be unlocked. Each artifact, carefully placed to accompany the young king into the afterlife, was a remarkable testament to the ingenuity, craftsmanship and beliefs of a civilization that flourished thousands of years ago. The iconic golden death mask, the intricate chariots, the dazzling jewelry, every single relic was a window into the past, offering invaluable insights into the life and death of King Tutankhamun. They revealed the rites and rituals of Egyptian burial practices, the nuances of their art, and the dynamics of their societal hierarchy. As we peel back the layers of mystery, we come to realize that the real legacy of King Tut's tomb 
lies not in the curse, but in the illumination it provides into an ancient world. The treasures within, from the iconic death mask to the chariot's jewelry and the pharaoh's mummified remains, have provided invaluable insights into the life and death of the young king and the civilization he ruled.